Hey, welcome, welcome back to Let's Play Celeste, where we are working our asses off, apparently, for berries. <laughs> I thought for sure this last little puzzle we solved was going to help us progress, but I still have uh, no idea if we're any closer to actually solving the mysteries of this area. Those teardrops that couldn't, uh, I got the B-side track over there. Did the teardrop puzzle here that I thought was going to help us and just gave us another berry. How do we even get back now? This is really perplexing. Okay, this is, yeah, this is where we came from. Oh yeah, we climbed up there because that was a mystery area. That was not, yeah, okay. But still... We are not really... I'm going to go over here just because I feel like it. Yeah, okay, there's nothing. <laughs> uh, curiosity satisfied. If nothing else, that one little inkling of curiosity has been put to rest. <sighs> why, is this <laughs> why is this causing me problems? I've done this how many times now? jump wait till it comes up and jump it's more the, the cloud is far more forgiving than I'm that I'm letting myself remember you can be it seems like it's almost stopped but you can then jump and you'll still get the like the maximum momentum out of it so I got to remember that the game is being more generous than I might have expected yeah this was just climbing straight up go girl go Huh. Oh yeah, we gotta save our dash so we can come up here, use the wind, save our dash, and then climb. And now we're stuck. And I guess this this little um, um, hieroglyphic or uh, marking etching on the on the mountain surface here is um, what do they call it? <laughs> we just saw it in, in the last video in the overworld. The grow the shrine, I guess they called it. The shrine is like a halfway point for the level. Which means I guess I'm on the right track. Um, there's like a tiny little arrow in the background. But there's also one up there pointing up and to the left. And I think I'm reading too much into the background. Um, the significance of the backgrounds. Maybe yes, maybe no. I don't know. Over here, nothing but berries. Right? I'm guessing. Berries? Yeah, berries that I've already. Yeah, I've I've been here, been here, done that, got the berries, boom, done. Okay, so now up here, up and to the right, nothing but berries. Well, not nothing but berries. Berry there. Clearly wanting to show us that area there, directly above us. Got it. I, I'm with you, game. I'm with you so far. That area up there must be important. Next stop. Can't get through there. Can't get through there. Those are spikes. Despite this being probably the area that we need to be at, can we navigate this block around? If we can navigate this block around that area, I'm going to be ticked. You son of a gun got to hold on to the side of it. You did it to me, game. You did it to me. You're absolutely right. You were correct. Uh, and this is why I always say trust the game. I see so many people out there playing this, playing that. And whenever they run into a problem, oh, it's a poor game. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's that. Trust the game. That's, my, that's, my, that's the credo. My other credo for this series is going to be trust the game what was the first one i don't remember the one in spelunky no damsel left behind for celeste trust the game and it was something about taking your time i think we had that one because i'm not a speedrunner, so there's no shame in saying you know what we're going to chill out on this particular platform examine the area figure out what's going on and then make a 
strategy accordingly. See? Boom. Done. Now, when my feeble little brain can't come up with a strategy, that's... Oh, wow. Yeah. Spikes. Thanks. That's when we're going to have problems. As long as my brain is, is, is keeping up with the game, we should be fine. Oh, I need to be on top to push you down. Okay. Fair enough. Get out top right away. Start pushing down right away. Come back up. Check out the sights. Squeeze through here. Not going to happen. Oh. <laughs> I know what you want, game. I know what you're after, you sick, twisted little game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, why put spikes there? That's just... That's just being malicious like get up get down line this up and get down here you want me to go for that strawberry don't you don't you oh I can't go back now <laughs> I was I went up here I'm like I'm gonna think about whether or not I want to go how hard is that jump gonna be can I get up there dash around boom fall back down on the block and then I jumped up here on this platform to decide and now I can't go back down so see ya See ya. I was, uh, just before I started recording, actually, I was a little late in, in getting started because I was watching, um, actually, of all things, not at all related to this. <laughs> it related to, related to Celeste and, and me <laughs> in, a, in a roundabout way, but not really. Um, what I was watching was um, Jesse Cox playing Rusty Lake Hotel. What in the world is Rusty Lake Hotel, you ask? Well, Rusty Lake Hotel is a really great... W what a poor word choice, eh? Re oh, it's really, it's really great. It's great. Well, <laughs> it doesn't help. It's, but it is, it's, to me, it's a great um, kind of simplistic, scaled, you know, really pared down, streamlined, puzzle type game. You go into these rooms of the hotel and solve a series of self-contained little puzzles um, to get out of the room with items that you need to progress the main story and it's all wrapped up in this great package of um, weird anthropomorphized animals at a lake um, hotel on an island in a lake and um, I was watching him play and it was really distracting me from doing what I had to do which was record Celeste and uh, the reason I bring it up is because that's just what I was doing. <laughs> they say, talk about what you know. And um, But it was a new video. That, that, yeah, that's the other thing. The game is old. The game has got to be several years old. And uh, he was doing a playthrough for some reason. Something about... I don't even remember what. Although we'd already played it before. Um, it was a VOD from a stream. But um, it's one of those things that is sort of like this perfect, another example of what I've been talking about and maybe not expressing clearly um, about the genre that I like, um, where they take cartoon type things, but put mature, uh, put a mature spin on it. Um, and, and, you know, Rusty Lake Hotel. There's a, and also there's a third one that has just come out, which I didn't even know about. It's been out for about a month now, actually. Rusty Lake Paradise, I think it's called. Um, I played Rusty Lake Hotel, Rusty Lake Roots. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a perfect sort of example of a game or any kind of media entertainment property that fits my, my niche, my niche, my niche just right. Because um, it's a theme that I like um, with, the, with the cartoon, with the weird... Like, you're, you're murdering animals, and, and you're... Uh, yeah, there's all sorts of stuff going on there that, that's appealing to me. And um, it's also very much... I don't know if it... I don't know enough about games to know if it's, like, an indie game, technically. I, I would assume it is. Um, and whether it is or not, it fills that other niche, niche for me, um, which is games that are easy pick up and be in playing in like almost instantly right you open that game up there's not a lot of flash there's not a lot of glitz there's not a lot of glamour you're just in there and and the game is 
you're playing the game. You're being challenged, just like we're being challenged right now. Quickly. I like games I can just pick up in and out of. No problem. One game that I used to play a lot during my post high school, well, even high school, like back in high school, it was Age of Empires and stuff like that. I had a ton of time on my hands, right? <laughs> I could just, because I was not important. Not that I'm important now, I'm probably even less important now, but I've got more responsibilities now. Um, why, why would I keep doing this if I clearly am not able to make it? What am I missing, people? But yeah, I used to play larger scale games, strategy games. Um, and more recently, the one sort of strategy game that I've... Oh, well, uh, this is so obvious. I need to get up here and then come back on the other s side of this pillar, right? Like this. Yeah. This game likes to do that, where you need to go back on the other side of something. It it's really plays on your idea that once you've made progress, don't go back. You, they allow you to go back to chill out and be safe and sometimes they need you to go back to be making your next jump from the other side of something that they've put in your way um, it's pretty neat actually but uh, yeah one one sort of bigger scale well, I talked a little bit about CK2 I still play a, a CK2 is a very uh, the very opposite of what I say I'm, I'm needing in a game these days you know it, it's a big loading screen takes a huge investment of your time um, but ultimately I mean it's incredibly worth it obviously um, of course video game logic right I should have known this before duck don't move now I can take, drink a coffee Another strategy game I, I still enjoy is the uh, the much maligned um, Total War series, Rome, specifically Rome 2, um, Attila, and um, again, the opposite of this, right? A huge investment just to get the game launched, running, get into the game, then you're playing, then it's, you know, waiting for turns, just this huge, huge time sink. A little bit of Civ 5 I played, never bought Civ 6 yet. Um... But mostly, what I'm looking for and interested these days is, is this type of quick in and out, get in, be challenged, put it aside type games. And uh, Rusty Lake meets that, and it also pairs the uh, the cartoon and and, uh, and s mature um, dynamic together quite nicely. Which this game has also, and I still stand by the idea that the narrative to this game is going to be pretty rewarding. I, 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 you have that sense that as much care has been put into everything else. My phone is ringing. I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to pause here and stop this recording. And we're back. Hopefully that was just a cut for you. I imagine it will be. Um, what a pointless phone call. I apologize. Where are we here? Oh, yes. Okay. I was babbling on about... Rusty Lake Roots and Rome Total War, two very obvious brothers from different mothers, um, games that are not related at all, but are related in my head. How are we going to clear this next set of spikes? We're going to come through the underside, most likely, right? We've got to come down here, boom, boom, again, go back, right? The game allows you to go back. Same here, it's going to be the same logic. Jump over to the right, come back onto here, jump up here for some reason, and I should be getting these these berries. I should be doing a better job of that. There's no reason why I can't get that one. Okay. 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 Did I spend a dash or do I have a dash? I had I had no dash. I pushed the button. There was no dash there. <laughs> I might be able to do this. I will be able to do this without spending my dash. <laughs> I gotta go the right way, though. Okay, boom. Nope, you gotta go up and to the left. Up and to the left. There we go. Yep, gotcha. So I have a dash. I am dash laden. I am laden with dash at this point. Yep, okay. Totally dash laden. 
jump up here, grab that, jump down here. Boom. Missed. It's okay. We're going to get this berry. Our berry economy sucks. We're going to try to give it a little oomph. You know, a little... A little... A little... A uh, little influx of, of berry juice. Everyone needs an influx of berry juice now and then. And our berry economy is no different. Boom. <gasps> okay. Whew. Close call. We did it. Come up with the strategy. Calmly execute the strategy. You'll be fine every time. Now, if you want to speed run, that's another thing. This game is going to be tough as nails for that. Because um, it's already tough as nails for knots, but manageable. It's tough as nails, but manageable. For non-speed running purposes, anyway. Okay. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Through here, over, up, dash, grab, die. Yep, that's just as planned. As you can tell, I'm just totally full of BS. Wow. Did I even have, do I even have to do that step? What even is the point of that step? Can I not just get around? Berry? Berry economy, coming up. Okay, now there's an even further path up there. That phone rings again, I swear to God. Oh, ho, 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 ho. there's gonna be. Heads are gonna roll, people. Heads are going to flip and roll. Wow. That's all I can say. Wow. When I say poor Canada, I mean poor Canada. I don't know what our future holds in this country. But as of right now, all I can say is wow. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to have to be cutting this video short after I get this berry safely back home. And uh, <laughs> until then, we're going to figure this one out pretty quick dashing off the wall too much. I gotta dash, jump, and then dash. And then die. Now, those other spikes from earlier were spiteful. These spikes on that tiny little little piton of a, a mountain there, right to my right, those are, le those are legitimate spikes. If you want to spike me with those spikes, you go right ahead. That's legitimately making level harder but spikes just for the sake of spikes don't respect it no respect at all I'm gonna have to edit this video together render it and then wait for it to render oh god this is gonna be grab onto the <laughs> I'm trying to get both in one jump I don't need both in one jump I need this one and then dash immediately left then jump, and then dash immediately left. And by left, of course, I mean right. And then when I go through that bubble, I need to not have fat fingers. And I need to go that way. Yes, no, come back to me. No, I was dash, I was dash poor. We're not gonna be able to make it. I've gotta go. Um, until next time, thanks very much. See you soon.